Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, a 56k modem with a heart of gold. And it is time for episode 4 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. It is another beautiful day here in Paradise, the ironically named Paradise 24. And uh, yeah, so I've actually got a plan of attack this time. We've got a very specific uh, set of things we're going to do today. What we are mainly going to go do is investigate the scene of the murder and see what we can find out there. Seems like a good place to start in any criminal investigation, or at least any criminal investigation involving a murder. I don't know that starting with the scene of a murder is where you should go if you're attempting to figure out who's been stealing a lot of bikes. But before we do that, we are going to do something else. We are going to talk to what I can only refer to as a ghost, and I <laughs> seems like the game agrees. Searching ghost, are you here to take me away? Where would I want to take you? To the ritual. Are you a citizen? Am I? I was once, but now I don't know. I'm lost. You're still here, even after the citizen slaughter ritual preceding the end of this island. Why? Maybe the gods rejected my sacrifice. I knew the ritual was coming. We all knew, but it was sooner than expected. I thought we had a few more hours, so I left the house to go find something I'd lost. And what was that? A stone that had fallen from my ring. It was something my wife gave me to celebrate our first lunar cycle together. It's got no value. She just found it on the beach, but as we held it, our troubles seemed to fade. Being close to each other is all that mattered. When we got married, I had it placed in my wedding ring. It fell out a few days ago. So you were out looking for the stone? Yes, I needed that stone with me. Before I found it, the marshals came and took me to the ritual. I pleaded, I begged, I just needed a few more moments. I became so angry. If I couldn't find my stone, then at least let me see my family one last time. I was always told death would be peaceful, but that was a lie. And how do you feel now? The anger has not dissipated, but I am still here. I'm here for a reason. I must find my stone so I can rest. Will you help me? I'll find your stone. I'm an investigator. Thank you. Look around the park between the citizen and syndicate apartments. I'm sure I lost it when I was sat on a bench there. Have you found my stone? I mean... So I didn't know this game had side quests. I honestly thought it was just find evidence on the island and then go, go solve the mystery. But yes, I believe that was what we found last episode. I think I have. Really? Can I see? Oh yes, that's it. I can't describe how this makes me feel. It's like we're together again. Please, you keep it. I can feel myself fading out of this world, and I can't take this stone with me. When you hold it, I hope you can find the happiness that it gave me. Yo, couldn't help spying on you. What do you want? You like that stone the spirit gave you? It has a wonderful depth to it. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be a no. Why? Want to sell it? Why do you want it? Gems that are tied to the suffering of others are one of my collections. One of? Oh yeah, I also collect antiques from a planet populated by slug scholars. I also got a cabinet of calcified entrail... Cal <laughs> also got a cabinet of calcified entrails prayer wreaths from the mad monks in the Venus Labyrinths. That was hard to read. So, want to sell? Two blood crystals, one time offer. I, ki I kind of want to hang on to every, every unique thing I find. I think I'll hang on to it. Shame. I suppose I'm going to die with this island soon, so no biggie. Don't stress it, love dice. I just wanted a little bit of happiness before the harrowing embrace of oblivion. Oh, it's raining. I didn't know it could rain. Um, so I'm instantly recognising this effect, which is really funny to me. Um, so in games, it's generally very difficult to uh, render a whole bunch of like volumetric stuff happening in the space that you're observing. So a common trick used back in the day and... I guess apparently still today sometimes, especially by indie games, uh, is to have a particle emitter placed directly above the player character's head. So it is literally raining only for me, which is honestly pretty representative of what my daily life is like, let's be honest. So it's a clever little trick because it means you don't have to render anything far away, except for perhaps a wider grey thing. So you see there's near near raindrops and far raindrops. When I step under this eave, 
The near raindrops disappear, but the far raindrops don't. They're both particle emitters right above my head, only emitting them immediately around me. Uh, I can't... I haven't attempted to look up how they made this game. Well, not much anyway, because I don't want to be spoiled. However, um, I am familiar with that, with that technique, and I think that's what they're using here. Splendid pamphlet. A pamphlet about the celebratory gardens. They are dedicated to Gregory Complex, the syndicate member responsible for weaving the broken timelines together several sequences ago. His sacrifice will be remembered. It's a shame I can't actually read that, because I would be curious to learn about... Um, did I open this fast travel? Yeah, I have. Um, I would be curious to, to read about the split timelines. Does that mean that time travel was a thing and someone broke it, or is that something else going on? Fantastic crystallized tear necklace. Rare and highly prized. Sometimes people inflict misery on others and attempt to pan for them. Interesting. So I guess people's tears freeze into cool gems in this universe. There's a lot of weird stuff going on, but... To be honest, it could be weirder. Let's activate this fast travel point. Starlight skin obtained. Starlight skin obtained. Symbols of a warrior, blades that glimmer in the moonlight when held aloft on the top of a conquered pyramid of sin are highly valued. I wonder if there's going to be a starlight skin relating to each of the uh, various main characters. Because a couple of the ones we found so far seem to. Can I get in here? What's this? Citizen Services. Well, I guess it makes sense that the Citizen Services building would be shuttered once all of the citizens have been ritualistically slaughtered. Oh, hello. Computer. These nightmare computers can log activity in an area. They're normally set up to see who has passed through a door or access to system. If I can use Starlight to help me gain access to them, I might be able to get some evidence. All right, Starlight, let's get to work. Nightmare computer unlocked. These are the logs of who entered and exited Syndicate HQ last night. There's only one route to the council building, and it involves going through the Syndicate HQ. If Henry did escape and kill the council, he'd have to have come through here. Let's see. Architect Carmelina left HQ early through this gate, as did Yuri. Doom Jazz did not leave his clinic. Henry hasn't been logged coming through this gate at all. This is the only way he could get to the council building by himself. Is there another route he could have taken from his cell? That's evidence, baby! So, we know that Doom Jazz did not pass through this gate, and neither did Henry Division. Uh, that might come in relevant when he gives me his alibi, or it might be useful for breaking something else later on. Uh, also, I've cut out the actual puzzle solving because um, it took me a minute to figure out how it works. I'll explain it next time we do it. The God Crying Grudge, the only god that we managed to rescue after the Great Betrayal. He's on the island somewhere. Oh, interesting. So there are some gods that are alive. Um, and there are some gods that inhabit the island. We do know from the uh, the map that there's at least one god pyramid floating around, so maybe he's in there. Relic island sequence 001. Our blessed island plan was formed. Ezekiel forms the council to lead us to the new island sequences. What was that flash? Was that the sun going through the... Oh, that was weird. Uh, right, so before we move on anywhere else, let's take a quick uh, pee break. Relic obtained. Damned Harmony Carving A carving about the god Damned Harmony. Escaped to the cosmos as his mountain fortress was besieged in Bosnia. The alabaster citadel was demolished around him as he finished the ritual to escape. He drifted for millennia before latching onto a comet at the outer reaches of the solar system. He drifted again, missing the formation of the Syndicate until the comet drifted closer to Earth. He learned of the Syndicate and deceived Lady Love Dies. Interesting. So I guess we learn about one of the gods in more detail every time we open one of these. Uh, that's a tape. Have we taken this tape already? Apparently. And also, I think these little spas are where we get... Uh, it's these cool little mini hot tub spa foot bath thingies are where we get uh, upgrades. An oasis in this tropical heat. 
Okay, I need more blood crystals. So if I come back here once I have found two more blood crystals, we can get an upgrade. Uh, not for Starlight, but for uh, Lady Love Dies herself, which will be pretty useful. I think there's a double jump and air dash and a couple of other things, which, as I mentioned previously, are odd upgrades to get in a game that is not really a platformer. Another red crest. I don't really know what these are for yet, but they plug into this wall over here. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe? So that's uh, seven left to find. Anyway, where the hell was I going? I was going to go and have a look at the scene of the crime, I think? There. Although that might be something else, there might just be different murders. Enchanted Blue, a scholar of different galactic races and a connoisseur of fine food and wine. She remains imprisoned in the real world in the hidden pyramids deep within the caverns of the Sahara. I like this god design. This looks very different to the other ones. I wonder if that's something that was added. Because when I when I played this before to calibrate it for uh, recording, you know, to figure out how to make my software actually record it well and not badly and wrongly, which it insisted on doing for quite a lot of footage time. Um, I wasn't really playing the game, I was just running around looking at stuff so that I could get uh, good recordings to use as test material. But, um, oh, this whole, this whole thing is the council building? That's interesting. Is it all in this sort of sky arcology above me? Is that entirely the council building? It's huge! Or is the council building just built into the plinth? Oh, they didn't even... Okay, this isn't even cordoned off. I'd have thought the marshals would put up some tape or something, at least, so that the more uh, civically inclined people wouldn't accidentally mess with it. You know, accidentally. Even if that wouldn't stop someone tampering on purpose. This is the murder weapon Henry was found with. It looks like a combat knife. Clean blade, but covered in blood. Starlight can run the blood. All of the blood on here is from council members. There are two other blood samples, presumably from the dead marshals up ahead. Murder weapon. Always good to have that in custody. Or, well, I guess have some kind of like uh, fundamental universal imprint of this, this object's existence recorded on my laptop, even if I'm not going to take the real object itself, because really uh, there's no difference between those two things conceptually, is there? Okay, there's nothing up. This is just repeating. Let's have a look at this one. This is where Henry was found after his escape. If I find where he started, I can compare the timeline to the distance. That's smart, actually. That's smarter than me. So this is where the this is where it starts. But yeah, I guess I have to follow the blood trail back. Oh, this is a this is a more of a mess than I than I was uh, expecting. Oh well. The first holy seal protecting the council building is a pair of two high-ranking martial guards. They were killed last night by whoever breached the council building. Time to find some evidence. Oh, this is near. There are ragged gashes across the throats of each soldier. The cuts were done with a blade, but not a perfect one. Nicks or damage on the blade probably caused the messy cuts. There are symbols drawn in the blood. They are demonic glyphs from a cosmic language I do not recognize. Interesting. Spend your whole life a fascist and then you get stabbed in the neck. Both of those things suck. Uh, these are the martial guards that form the first of the Holy Seals. High-ranking marshals that were supposed to shield the council from attack. They were in someone's way. Okay, let's run the blood. What the hell? Is this right? These aren't marshals. I don't know who they are, but this blood doesn't match the ones on record for the marshals assigned to guard duty. What the hell is going on? Have they been body swapped? Is Starlight wrong? This blood matches the blood on the knife, so either this knife was used or it's been set up to look like it was. They've both had their throats cut. The lacerations are ragged. This was probably done with a damaged blade. There are marks drawn in the blood. The blood matches the blood of the dead bodies. It looks like they've been daubed with a finger. Maybe some kind of ritualistic marking. Henry has demonic symbols burned into his skin as a result of possession. This could indicate that he was here. 
Interesting. So, I mean, <laughs> um, already this case stinks to high heaven. Like, I mean, from from minute one, I was not inclined to think that Henry Division was uh, was at fault here. He he feels like a patsy. He feels like he's being set up. Um, and uh, part and parcel of that is the fact that like people are clearly not telling me things. And in addition to people not goddamn telling me things, people are clearly also hiding things. Blazing Sunset. When the sunset occurs, some people immolate themselves, believing that the sun is a god that may eventually disappear. They're wrong. She will never disappear. Sounds like wishful thinking to me. But uh, you never know. Let's have a look at this. Grotesque Pyramid Charms. Three holy pyramid charms, the gods, the syndicate, and the citizens. This very much seems to me like the kind of propaganda that gets put out where we're all striving together, where in fact uh, it's just people standing on people's necks all the way down. Shut the fuck up, Shinji. Where's this guy? Is this roof access? Could be anywhere. You ever been to space, Slub Dies? I always wanted to. I hear the moon's nice and quiet. Well, strap in. Beyond that door is space. Is that a metaphor or something? No, nah, just hardcore space. This is the second holy seal. It's a rock floating through space. You know, the cosmos. The second holy seal is behind that door. Are you even listening? Yeah, one of the safeguards that the killer got through. You gotta find a solution to the puzzle on the plateau to get the rest of the building. How do you know about the second seal? Space has a stench. It's full of cosmic horror and existential nightmares. I can smell it. And the puzzle? I came to this island through a psychic corridor in space. I got a feel for these things. You could just solve the puzzle without any hints? Well, sure, why not? Imagine you put a rock in an empty drinks can. You can just turn the can and feel the rock move. You can shake it and feel it. You learn how the rock moves, and without seeing it, you can work out how to get it out of the opening, right? It's like that, but the rock is a dumb puzzle designed by someone who thinks they're cleverer than they are, and the can is space. So I can just feel my way through it. Ah, <laughs> no, you aren't attuned. You're not from space. You can't feel the rock, or the can. Speaking of cans, how am I supposed to get through the puzzle then? Are you kidding me? You're the investigation freak, aren't you? That's what everyone says, right? Investigate. Do you think there's anyone else on the island that knows about this seal? Someone that knows about space? The prime suspect is that Henry guy, right? If he got through here, it might be because of the demon inside of him feeling its way through. How likely is that? Hell, I don't know. How likely is anything? If you're asking me to place the bet on it, I'd say it's good odds a demon that came here on a psychic pathway could find their way through. Like you? Well, yeah, like me. But, and this is key, it needs to be one that has the strength. I'm too weak. Henry's demon has got a host, though. How could Henry survive on a rock in space? With great difficulty, I'd say. The demon inside him probably kept his body together. Stopped his organs being sucked out his ears. Can we can we rely on testimony from literally a demon? Is there anything you demons can't do? Well, that demon's a ball of the angriest psychic energy I've ever seen. You get someone angry enough and they can do anything. Including keeping someone alive in space. Why not? Stop being sarcastic. What the hell do you know about demons? I ran the Paradise Psycho unit. And where's that now? That's what I thought. By the way, I've got a present for you. You're going to need some help if you're going to space. A space helmet? I figured you'd want to breathe and keep your insides inside your body. Where did you get this? I was poking around here this morning. It was behind one of those planters. Looks like someone dumped it. Meaning someone had used it to go through the seal? Why are you asking me? Get your investigation freak on. I added some heart stickers to it. Make it makes it yours, don't you think? Which planter did you find it behind? The one with the statue. Never mind that, though. Focus on the big picture. You're about to go to space! Have you been in there? Are you listening? My body's too frail. I'm too weak to leave the island. Aren't you worried about what happens when this island ends? How I'll blink out of existence? If I spent all my time worrying about trivial shit like that, I'd have no time to think about us. Us? Yeah, maybe after you've saved this dump, you, can I, you and I can take a long walk on the beach before... Let's talk about this another time, Shinji. And by another time, I mean not in this lifetime. Ah, whatever. We know that, um... 
We know that Lady Love Dies has a uh, has an ex-husband or an ex-partner of some kind. Space helmet has seen better days and is an old model, but allows the wearer to traverse space. Um, I'm not sure I should try and go through there just yet until I figured out how to solve the puzzle. Um, but yeah, so on her on her character model on her her portrait, if you look closely, you can see she does actually have a uh, a wedding ring around her neck, which perhaps implies some kind of lingering closeness to whoever it was that she was previously married to, who appears to have already moved on to the next island, according to our listings in our laptop. This is a maintenance hatch for the council building. It looks like it's been opened. The anti-tamper seals are cut and the grate was pried open. You need a thin tool to open this. There are scrape marks going into the access hole as well. Well, it seems likely to me that... Was something manhandled through here? It seems likely to me that... Um, the the knife that's uh, damaged and was used to stab the guards probably was what levered the get great open then. I think that's a reasonable uh, inference to make here. What's this? Is this a cut power line? Or is there, or, <laughs> or is there an object that failed to render here? <laughs> oh, video games. Right, I need at least one more blood crystal, I believe. I've got to say, the tone of this is a little bit different than I was expecting based on my previous wandering around the island experience, which had a much more chill vibe. I suppose if you do go look at a murder scene, you should not be surprised when you find, you know, murder stuff. But um, I guess I got so wrapped up in the idea of just exploring this lovely, vibesy, gorgeous Vaporwave Island hangout spot that it uh, kind of slipped my mind that we are, you know, investigating brutal stabbings. Haunting Sculpture. A sculpture that shows up on every island. No one knows where it comes from or whether to fear it or not. Ah, oh, he's fine. He's just a little guy. He's feeling a little blue. <laughs> so I'm just gonna work my way back over here carefully. Actually... It's just occurred to me I could just cut that out, right? But hey, what's that? Oh, that must be the light uh, <laughs> projecting the light upwards. Not everything we see in the distance has to be an interesting piece of uh, ephemera for us to gather up and stuff in our voluminous investigatorial pockets. Which, uh, that's an episode title if ever I've heard one. Oh shit! Ah! Well, goodbye! Uh, I thought I was going to land in the water, which is the only way to die. If you go in the water, it um, respawns you back on the nearby beach. Anyway, um, yeah, so I guess that's going to be it from me for today. Next time, we'll have another look and maybe figure out how to solve the puzzle. Based on, based on what uh, Shinji was saying, I would not be surprised if part of the way this plot goes is that Lady Love dies and Shinji uh, bond to one another in some way. After all, if um, Henry Division having a demon inside him was how he was able to get his uh, get that puzzle solved, it would stand to reason that uh, if I can allow Shinji to to inhabit me, then then perhaps we also can can bust our way through that seal in the same way. And Shinji does seem to have this weird desire to to help me. Additionally, Shinji's clearly afraid of. Uh, dying <laughs> when this island dies and uh, if he's inside me he can escape. I'm just gonna see what this is because why not? Someone's been littering. Or maybe not. This bottle has blood in it. Oh shit. There are traces of the blood of every member of the council in here. I fucking knew it! A weird and suspicious thing to find. Yeah, no shit. Up above is the entrance to the council building where Akiko allegedly found Henry after the murder. Judge said Henry was found with the blood of the victims in his stomach. If he is being framed, this is a good way of getting it into him. Did someone do the murder and then take blood from each victim, bottle it, and force Henry to imbibe it? On the one hand, that makes me feel like a genius for having already thought of that like two episodes ago. Um, on the other hand, uh, finding it this early kind of indicates that uh, there's going to be a lot more depth going on to this. There's I'm, I'm expecting red herrings and counter red herrings and cover-ups and counter cover-ups and backing and forthing and 
quite possibly everyone on this island will turn out to have had a reason to have done this. And I have not even discarded the possibility that this is a conspiracy of multiple people. But what a stroke of luck. What a stroke of luck that I fucking fell off like some kind of um, ambulatory fool. Like some kind of jingling jester. Hoo hoo, hee hee, look at me, I'm an investigator. Oh, tr oh no, I have tripped and fallen to my death. Uh, only to luck out into tri like landing on a, a very important piece of evidence that someone has just fucking thrown in the sea for no reason. Anyway, so, God, um, I'm rambling. Let's call it a day. I hope you will join me again for... I nearly said the thrilling conclusion, but I suspect there's going to be plenty more episodes before we're done here. So, I hope instead you will join me again for yet more of me exploring and investigating this peculiar island. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.